Love is very tenacious, or Daria won't give in, but Love finding plenty for Ryan Moore. Armoury is in third, and Love is coming up to the line. She sends Ascot head over heels, a special filly as well, Love. Ryan did a great job balancing, doing enough for her to win, and not, and at the same time not doing enough, because he knew Armoury was going to be coming from the back, and he knew he was prepared for the race. So, um, no, it was brilliant, really. Uh, like, you give her a great ride, delighted with the filly, and listen, it's a pleasure and a privilege to have her. She gives everything. Like, there's n nothing left, nothing spared. Like, whatever you want, she's there to answer it all the time, really. Indy Angel, the near side over in the centre is Lady Bothorp. Champers Elise chasing hard with Queen Power. It's Indy Angel and Frankie in front here, and Indy Angel has taken the Duke of Cambridge. It's a photo for second. We knew she could be competitive with the top fillies. To say that she'd win by two and a half lengths, no, that would have been wishful thinking. But uh, right now we're savouring this moment because to think that she'd have won the day like that from two lovely fillies who are in second and third uh, was not something we expected to happen necessarily. It's great for the Mrs. Thompson, she's put so much into racing. You know, winning a, a group race with a filly Royal Ascot is, uh, I, I guess she's been thrilled with that. Over the far side, Real World with the white cap has the lead. The yellow cap has choking the near side, but Marco Gianni and Real World have won by many lengths. It was beautiful. I did a stay with the one that easy. I thought like he had a good chance, and he did it. You know, uh, he's a young jockey, but he's a very positive, keen. And I said to him, if you want to be famous and watch the watch you, you have to win this race. Laura Pearson, Lola Showgirl still has the advantage as they race inside the last 100 yards. Fionn in second, Fodas in the pink jacket, Waliak coming home, Lola Showgirl led the whole way. When you realised you'd won, what was that moment like? <laughs> just, just incredible, I can't even put it into words. Holly and Haley have completely opened the doors for the rest of us and really allowed us to, to run through it and, um, and thank them a lot. <laughs> Over the far side, the red jacket, it's Chipotle. They're wide across the course. Bon Chema finishing very fast near side, so is Dig 2. Chipotle there, the far side won it. As they run now, Twilight Gleaming and Quick Susie, the first two heading towards the last furlong. Artos over on the far side, and Quick Susie has taken the measure of Twilight Gleaming. And Quick Susie and Gary Carroll have won the Queen Mary. It really means a lot, and especially today, back with the crowds, and. The atmosphere today it was a long time since we felt something like that, and to be honest, it hasn't really sunk in yet to come to Royal Ascot and ride a winner. It's what Jockey's dream of, and it's great to get. It's Kamari that leads the way, Wordsworth staying on with Stoll, but Kamari is still in front by two and a half lengths. Wordsworth staying on powerfully, but Kamari is clear and wins the Queen's Vars. I must give, uh, like I said, the team at home uh, a lot of credit for this. He's been a challenging horse during the, co uh, during the course of the winter there. Full, full credit to them, they've done it, you know. Great job. The horse is definitely a horse that's you know going the right way.